and it's from Mike Mitchell. Is it says states the U.S. Congress passed the Telecommunications Act in 1996. Part of that law stated that no cellular tower or antenna could be could be prohibited due to health risk. This is a bad federal law that is unconstitutional and is also a violation of the Nuremberg Code, which was passed in 1947, which states that no citizen will have medical experiments performed on them without their permission and consent. I do not consent to having a medically untested, unproven 5D technology put in my front yard 25 feet from where I sleep. I have provided to the to the Farragut Municipal Planning Commission medical proof that 5G towers and antennas can cause cancer. There are thousands of medical studies that prove this. I ask that this be placed in the minutes this evening and discussed in Citizens Forum. There have been bad federal laws in America before such as the law which prohibited women from voting and the law that segregated schools and businesses. Those laws were repealed as the Telecommunications Act in 1996 will be too. The town of Farragut has repeatedly claimed it must follow the bad law in the Telecommunications Act in 1996. I feel that I feel that this is a violation of the town charter and your oath of office. Other towns in America have done the opposite and defended the health and public safety of their residents. I, I asked the mayor and aldermen to protect the residents in Farragut. In the Keene, New Hampshire, the city council voted to block until next January applications from service providers hoping to launch 5G until cellular providers can prove the technology is safe. I've included a, included a resolution for the Farragut Board of Mayor and Aldermen to consider that protects my rights and my health. I ask that this resolution be put on the next Board of Mayor and Aldermen agenda for discussion and vote. Sincerely, Mike Mitchell. Okay, uh, at this point, I'll again ask uh, uh, if there's anything that uh, the town administrator can answer there, or uh, lawyer Tom Hale. Yeah, let, let me, uh, I've, I've reviewed this resolution in some detail. And I think um, my main comment about this has to do with the credibility of any resolution that we were, you, you as a group would want to adopt. The way this resolution is written, uh, it implies that you as a body know the answer to scientific questions about potential harm from RF radiation that is clearly in, in disagreement or in dispute among the experts that work in this area. So I guess my, my sense of it would be, uh, I, I think there is some merit to taking a position that is based upon undisputed facts. One of the undisputed facts is that um, there is a conflict among the experts. There are experts that are on both sides of this issue. There is no dispute that local governments don't have the authority under the law to regulate on the basis of the health effects of RF. We, we don't have legal authority to do it. It's undisputed that the FCC is delegated the responsibility to adopt regulations to ensure that when these towers are put up, that they will be safe for the public. So, you know, if you if your will is to put out a resolution, then I think it 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 can there can be a resolution that is based upon those undisputed facts that calls upon the federal government to require the FCC to do what the law delegates to them to do, which we can't do. To come out and say, like this resolution does, and imply that there's only one side to this discussion, and that there is not two sides that have opinions about it, that is, is just not appropriate. We don't know which side of this thing is right. Mr. Mitchell may know, but 
I can assure you, I don't know. I don't have the, I don't have the ability, and I don't think any of you all do either. The talents to understand what the right answer is, but there is some merit to the whole idea that if a federal agency has been given the responsibility to make the determination, they should make the determination if nobody else is allowed to do it. And you can make a pretty powerful resolution uh, just with those undisputed facts uh, and be well within your rights and uh, make a clear statement like rational people to try to get something done at the level where they have the authority to do it. You know, all of this thrashing around at the local level as if somehow or another we're going to change this thing by ourselves without going to Washington is or Nashville, it's, it's just a lot of hyperbole. What we need is reasonable, rational resolutions and action by people that are concerned, talking to the people who have the authority and the ability to make the changes. And uh, that, if we do it any other way, I'm afraid we lose our credibility. And I'll be happy to take this resolution and rework it and try to put it in terms that I, I'm talking about, which is, hey, there, there's a lot of undisputed things here. We think it calls for action. And as you know, we got this lawsuit out in California that is fighting for this very thing we're talking about. And uh, if we, if we're, we ought to be able to wait until that case gets to some point where some resolution occurs, but that's what the purpose of the lawsuit is, is to force the FCC to do the evaluation that they have not done since 1996. So I'm not opposed to it. I'm just saying I'm opposed to the, the, the tone and the content. And I think we could do something that had some meaning if we took this and, and did a little work on it. I'd love to comment. Is that okay if I have the floor, Mayor Williams? Go right ahead. Um, I appreciate what you're saying, um, Tom, uh, and I'm in agreement with you. Uh, um, I don't. I am not a scientist, and I am not a medical professional, so I, I can't say with any definitiveness what is true and what is not true. And I, that's that's what I struggle with. But I do know that I am terribly frustrated that at the local government, we have local government level, we have been stripped of most of our ability to have any control over what happens in at the very least our residential areas. Um, I don't have a problem um, with a resolution stating as such and that to require that the FCC should do their job. They, they, they started a research project and I don't know why it was halted but it was halted. Um, I will say that they, um, with regard to, is it Keene, New Hampshire? Um, New Hampshire, state of New Hampshire uh, Health Department has taken on to do some kind of study. So Keene, New Hampshire, or whatever state, whatever state it was, they had something to rely on to say, hey, our, our state of New Hampshire is doing this study. If the state of Tennessee were doing a health study, and I, we would have a leg to stand on and say, hey, state of Tennessee is doing something, so we're gonna halt until we get their findings. But I can't, as a local government official in Farragut, rely on the state of New Hampshire's health study to, it wouldn't carry any weight here. Um, I don't think we could win on that argument. So um, if we could convince the state of Tennessee Department of Health to start a study, that would be, helpful but um, i agree with you i i don't have a problem with the resolution um but it has to be it has to kind of state the the facts as they are so i appreciate that Alderman meyer uh i agree wholeheartedly with some kind of resolution as tom described my my concern is and I think I've said it before, I, I lean more that I think there's something to the health concerns. I don't know what they are. Um, and my, my bigger issue is that there are experts on both sides. And um, it would just be really nice if somebody stepped up and made the final decision on whether there's health issues or not. So I like the idea 
of the resolution as Tom um, outlined it. Hey, uh, Alderman Pinchot. Yeah, I'd like to see what Tom comes up with. I think uh, that uh, that's a good idea to have him work on that. So I appreciate his efforts. Hey, Alderman Burnett. Yep, I agree. I'd like. I'm in favor of a resolution along the lines of uh, what Tom outlined. Okay, sir. Uh, I'll I'll follow along with all of you there. I, I would uh, like to see what. Uh, I would like to see that one reworked uh, with Tom, something that's uh, that is usable. This particular resolution here, as it stands, is not. Uh, I'm not a, a scientist. I'm not a medical specialist, far from either one. But uh, I do disagree with, with one part of that particular uh, gentleman's uh, uh, and that's that uh, uh, and I want some, him to understand that uh, we're not in violation of our charter, uh, nor am I violating my oath of office. He has uh, repeatedly uh, put that out there and every time he comes to our meetings and, and says that, and that's the case. And, and I hope he will understand that that is not the case. I'm, I'm not in violation and I do not consider any of the rest of you in violation. And that's, that's all I have to know. <laughs> And, and as your lawyer, um, I don't consider you in violation of anything. In fact, what you're doing is attempting to follow the state and the federal law uh, and as best you can in the way it's given to you. Part of the problem with this is if it were only the FCC regulations and we didn't have this state statute, it would be a lot easier to kind of ignore that FCC regulation in the sense that hey, you don't have jurisdiction over us. Uh, we, we don't have to follow what your FCC rules are. That, well, that's not part of what we bought into when we formed as a town. But you lay, lay on top of what the FCC has said, what the state of Tennessee has said in the statute that they've adopted. That is the creator of the town of Farragut, the state of Tennessee. I've made this point before. We exist solely because we're empowered by and, cre and created by and have the authority given by the state of Tennessee. Well, if, you know, if we don't follow state law, there can be some consequences by the carriers, arguably by the state of Tennessee, potentially. And so uh, I'm, I'm, I mean, I wouldn't be advising you to, to do something that was a violation of your obligations, uh, and, I don't, and I don't think you are. I think that there are some, uh, as we've seen in today's world, there's, there's intimidation uh, factors that I think some people uh, think is effective, uh, and, they're, and they get emotional themselves, and so they say things because they're emotional. And I, I appreciate people that are emotional and have passion about what they believe in. But I think this particular situation, there's a way to accomplish the end result in a much more effective manner. And I appreciate you all uh, letting me take a shot at this. Okay, well, it sounds like we got a consensus on that item. So uh, if there's nothing else, without objection, uh, Time is approximately 8.08, and uh, the April 23rd Fairgate Alderman meeting will now be adjourned. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, David. Welcome. Thank, Thank you, you all. Thank you, Allison. Have a good night. Everybody have a good rest of the week. Yep. Thank you.